Alright guys, welcome back and in this video what I want to do is I want to explain to you guys why pixels suck. So you guys probably already know what pixels are. If you took magnifying glass and you held it up to any computer screen like a, a TV, your smartphone, the computer screen that I don't know just like a desktop, you're going to see that the image on your screen is made up of these tiny dots called pixels. So why do they suck? They're just dots, right? Well. The reason that they suck is because these pixels can be different sizes. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, on some smartphones, those tiny screens, the resolution on those is 1280. I'll write it down. 1280 by 720. That means that that little screen has 1280 pixels, 1280 pixels on left to right, and 720 pixels from top to bottom. So, all right, that's pretty interesting. Now the problem is on some TVs, like big TVs, like 32 inch TVs, it also has 1280 pixels by 720 pixels tall. So even though these screens have the same resolution or the same amount of pixels, they're dramatically different in size. Well, what's that matter? Who really cares? Well, this is the problem. Say that you made, I don't know, a website or something that had 14 pixel font. Well, maybe you're looking at this on the computer and you could read it really easy. Everything was, you know, looking good. And then you went to look at it on a smartphone with the same resolution and all the text was incredibly small. So this is why whenever you make font with pixels and pretty much everything, um, whenever you're making a website and you use pixels, that is why you should never use pixels and that it's really annoying um, whenever you try to design this way. So instead of pixels, what I want to do is I want to show you guys about something called EM. And it's not exactly, um, you know, different form of measurement like an inch, a pixel, or anything like that. It kind of works in a different way, but you guys are going to love it. So rule number one, whenever you're making responsive web designs or responsive websites, if you ever see pixels, think to yourself, I'm probably doing something wrong and I probably want to use something else. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So what I did already is I made two files, one's called index.html and I made another one just for CSS. And I also kind of assume that you guys know the basics of web development before you start watching these tutorials. If you don't, actually, um, watch, this is probably the best series to watch. Um, this HTML5 one right here will teach you the basics of web design and also um, CSS. But it, as long as you guys know like the bare basics, you guys are gonna be able to follow along with this easy. So the first thing we need to do is make a very simple HTML5 website. So of course HTML, and we have to end it too. And also if you guys don't feel like typing any of this code and maybe you just wanna sit back and learn, I'm gonna be taking all of the code from all of these tutorials and I'm gonna be posting it in my forum in the, where is it, the HTML5 web design section. So again, it's all gonna be, it's free, you guys don't have to pay for it or anything. Just go um, paste it, or copy paste it, and you guys will be good. All right, so we need HTML right there. Language equals EN. Now let's just make a really simple head and body so we don't have to for any other tutorials. body for some reason I kind of smell right now and it doesn't usually distract me but it is I must have I have like a weird odor I must have ate something weird all right I'm just gonna name this example Bucky's room because you know why not and what I want to do is I also want to link to my style sheet right here because for some reason um I really don't like having the styles right here, even though it might be easier to explain in the tutorial, it's really bad practice. So might as well build some good habits right now. So link style sheet and also href equals whatever you named your style sheet. I named mine. I like naming my style sheets the same as the website or the web page. So, all right. So now we have the basic shell and an empty CSS file, no styling whatsoever. So first of all, 
let's go ahead and learn exactly what a EM is and I want to do this by making four different divs so the first div is actually not going to be anything special at all all we're going to do in this one is just make some normal text so this is normal text so basically our browser is going to decide whatever text this is is it times new roman is it blue is it black is it 14 pixels 12 pixels i don't know we're going to leave it up to the browser to follow its heart decide what's best for us now i also want to make three other ones and i'll do this so we didn't do the CSS, we'll do that in a second, but this one is going to be class 1, and the other ones are just going to be class 2 and 3, keep things nice and simple. Alright, so we made three different classes, so it would probably be a good idea right now to hop over in our CSS file and actually make those classes so our browser doesn't get mad at us. So by default, this is what I'm going to do. We already know that the font size is 100 and this is just pretty much saying that whatever you have by default keep it that way so the reason I even included that is because later on when I'm showing you guys exactly what this is we're gonna be tweaking that and you guys are gonna um, really understand it'll help me explain exactly what's going on but right now let's go ahead and make those classes one two and three and we're gonna make those utilizing those things I'm talking about called EMS so in class one what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the font size to 1 EM. Now I'm going to copy this because I'm too lazy to type it out. And I'm going to put 2 and 3. So one of them is going to be 1 EM, one of them is going to be 1.5 EM, and the other one is just going to be 2. So you can actually make EMs with a decimal place. You can actually make one with less than 1, like 0.5 EM. So let me first, what do we have? We have 1 EM, so this right, this is 1 EM, and I'll just write 1.5 EM, not EMT, that would be like emergency transport vehicle or something, I don't know. What am I talking about? And this is 2.0 EM. So let's save this and find out what the heck EMs are. So run launch in Chrome and check it out. So this is your normal text that we got by default from the browser. We didn't do anything to this. It has no EMs applied whatsoever. Now this one right here is 1 EM. So as we can see, 1 EM is the exact same as the default. Now that's pretty much what an EM is. Whenever you use, oops, clicked on the wrong thing. Whenever you use EMs, what you're saying is this. The number we give you is relative to the default font size. So if the default is 12, 1 EM is also 12. Now 1.5 EM means take the font and it's going to be the size 1.5 from the default. So um, pretty much whatever the font size is by default, 1.5 that size would be this and twice the size is 2 em so it's not any given value like um 12 pixels 20 pixels what it is is a relative value so this 2 em right here is twice the size of the default font all right so why would you ever want that wouldn't you want more control over it to explicitly give it um a pixel value well check this out what you can do is this if you ever wanted to change your font size maybe to the base to 150 well before if this was like 10 you need to go through and make this 15 pixels this 20 pixels and with an entire website it could take a long time but now all I have to do is change this base size to 150 and check this out all of the font grew because it's all relative based on that normal text so instead of having to go through each one like I said you just change the base and all your font adjusts appropriately so this way you can do awesome things like if you always want your header to be or your headings to be twice as big as the normal text well it doesn't matter how big your text is no matter if it's I don't know um 
big for bigger devices or small for smaller devices, whenever you use EM, everything is relative, so you just have to change one thing and the rest of your website fits appropriately. So that's the benefit of um, what EM is and why it's so useful. So pretty much that you only have to change one thing. So in the upcoming tutorials, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize it pretty much to adjust your font size appropriately for every size screen and every size device. So for now, thank you guys for watching. And also, like I said, I'm gonna be taking all of this code and posting it on my forum. So if you don't feel like typing it and you just wanna watch the tutorials, find with me. So, um, well, I'm gonna shut up now and I'll see you guys later.